Hey guys, how's it going? Wanted to do a quick video about a photo shoot I did a couple of weeks ago in San Francisco. I have a friend that is a dancer and I had an idea of getting some crazy poses in different locations throughout the city. And you can check out his Instagram. I'll put that in the uh, notes down below. And you want to give him some love and check out his stuff. Uh, Reggie is just an amazing dancer and he was a trooper when it came to some of these poses. So we started at Union Square, which is kind of in the heart of downtown in San Francisco and just did some test shots. I'm gonna put a couple of those up just to kind of warm up and get a feel for you know what it was gonna be like. I'd never done a shoot like this before. I'd done portrait shoots, uh, but nothing where you know action was involved. You know, I've, I've done some sports photography, but not a ton. Uh, and I wanted to try a couple different combinations of bodies and lenses. Uh, I did start with the X-T1 with the 56 1.2, as well as the X-T2 with the 10 to 24. Now I know it seems strange to do portraits with a 10 to 24, but I wanted to get the landscape as well in the background. I wasn't as concerned with the bokeh with some of these shots because the city was as much of the subject as Reggie was. And the 10 to 24 ended up being a really good lens for that. Uh, while I did take some images with the 56 1.2 on the X-T1, uh, my go-to was the X-T2 with the 10 to 24. And I really enjoyed shooting with that and getting the textures and you know, everything was pretty much uh, converted to black and white. Didn't do a lot of color with this, uh, as you can see in some of these images. Uh, Reggie was a trooper. He, uh, for each one of these shots, he had to hold those poses. And I had to just grab the shot when he had the pose just right. And, you know, it, it was awesome. It was a lot of fun. It was exciting. It was something totally different and pushed the limits of my photography. Uh, and my abilities, which was great. And I really hadn't gotten out and about in, I don't even know how long, because of COVID and then the wildfires and everything else. It was nice to have a day where there were some natural clouds in the sky, not the smoke that's been covering the Bay Area. And it was just a lot of fun and everything worked out. Uh, I love working in black and white. It's, it's actually my favorite and always, ha always has been since I was a kid. I always loved going into the lab and developing black and white prints from my Nikon FE2 and just watching those develop and uh, working with those in the darkroom was a blast. So working with black and white is more fun for me than actually working with color. So it was neat bringing these into Lightroom and then uh, finding the black and white filters and applying those. Oh, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, the locations. So. The first location was actually a tunnel that I knew of and then I'd uh, done a couple shots in the city of just random people walking up it, like some street photography. And I thought of that as a great spot for Reggie to do some poses. And uh, he obliged me and it worked out absolutely perfect in my opinion. I really like these shots and I like the signage in the background and the buildings, uh, just the, the angle of his pose. And then, you know, some of them have clouds in the background uh, and just... The way the, the tunnel and steps you know, work in giving me kind of a negative space as well as the grayscale of uh, all of the items in the background as well as Reggie himself. Uh, playing with uh, shadows to get a little more detail on uh, Reggie's face because I wasn't working with a flash. Uh, I like to work with natural light. I know some people say it's lazy and if you don't use a flash and you know, I really like natural light. Uh, I love manipulating it and working with it and it's something over the years. Uh, I've been making images since, I don't know, 1979, 1980. And over the years, I love natural light and I have worked with flash. I do work with flash. Uh, I also have this new uh, 300X, the aperture, and I'm looking forward to doing some even outdoor stuff with that and uh, seeing what I can accomplish with that with constant light. Uh, flash has always been something that I've never really liked the effect of, and I've done a ton of flash photography. So, you know, everybody's got their opinion on that and I get it, so I'll probably hear it in the comments below. But uh, this works for me and it's fun for me and you know, photography is more of an art form for me than uh, client work lately and I'm having a blast with it. Uh, I don't have to make money with my photography. I'm just somebody that loves photography. I do have a business and I do make some money off of it, but it's not the focus of my life 
uh, it's not, or, you know, for making money. It's uh, more something that just brings me joy. And I want to, you know, bring that out to you and hopefully you enjoy it. I'd, I'd love to hear what you think about all these images and uh, this photo shoot in particular. Uh, any suggestions? I'm open to them. Any, uh, anything you really like about the images, though, that too. Uh, also, anything you'd like to see in the future, different lenses, different bodies. I can rent equipment. Uh, I have a new uh, 50 to 140 that I'm going to be making some images with. I have some ideas with that for some portraiture as well as uh, maybe some bird photography or uh, nature or landscapes. I do have the uh, variable ND that I use for these videos when I'm out and about. I don't have it on right now, obviously, because I'm indoor and using artificial light uh, for this. Uh, but when I do outdoor uh, video, I use the uh, variable ND filter. I haven't invested in some individual like 10 stop filters or other, other filters so that I can do uh, you know, that type of photography with uh, landscapes. Uh, but that might be something I might get into in the future. But for now, I'm going to use that variable ND, see what kind of effects I get with that. And that'll be in another video. So let me know if you enjoyed this. Let me know if you enjoyed the, these images. Uh, if you have a chance, go ahead and subscribe. You know, hit that bell. Uh, what does Peter McKinnon say? Smash it, if that's your thing. I don't even know what that means. Smash it? Smash it? Okay. Uh, John Weinberg with Photo4A.com. Till next time, take care.